Okay, today I'm going to show you how to use a certain modifier in Blender called the shrink wrap modifier. It's a very useful thing if you're dealing with clothing and it can just be used a lot. And a lot of people don't really know about it. It's a newer modifier, so I'm going to show you how to use it and maybe it'll be useful. So let's start off by pressing the spacebar, add mesh monkey. Press 3 to go to side view. And look, there's a monkey. And you have to make it at all. Suzanne is the monkey. See? Suzanne. It's, uh, it's been in all the Blender um, versions. It's just, uh, I guess, I think it's an inside joke or something. Is what I read. But that doesn't matter. Okay. So, Suzanne kind of looks kind of crappy like this. So let's go over here. And add a modifier. Let's subsurf first. So it smooths it out. And set to smooth. So that looks a little better. More like a monkey. But still, that's not what this tutorial is about. Now, we want to add mesh cube. Press Z so you can see it. Scale it up so it's a little bit bigger than the monkey. Scale it up a little bit. All the sides, and around. That looks okay. So, press tab to go into edit mode and subdivide it a couple times. That should be good. Okay, you see, sorry, got all these vertices all the way around it inside the box. Okay, now we want to press tab, go back to object mode and press Z to confirm that the monkey is inside the box. Okay, monkey's in the box. That's fine. Now, press Z again. Select the cube, add modifier, shrink wrap. Okay, it hasn't done anything yet because it doesn't know what object to shrink wrap to. And so we want it to shrink wrap to Suzanne. And the object is called Suzanne. Right there. Okay, so select, select the cube again. Shrink wrap, and right here it says OB. Pop in. Make sure uh, you got the right case. Suzanne. Right there. Okay. And it immediately shrink wraps to Suzanne. Now, what I like to do is down here where it says offset, bump that up a little bit. So it, it doesn't go through. Also, click this above surface. Makes it look a little better. But it's still kind of blocky. So, just as everything else in Blender, if it's blocky, subsurf it. And if it's still got squares and stuff, just set smooth. And there it is. Suzanne kind of has plaster grab over her face, I guess. Sort of. Press Z and you can see it. Okay. Now, there's another use to shrink wrap. So let's delete the cube. So we just have the monkey. Okay. Let's add a cylinder. If the vertices is like 16, it doesn't have to be many. And where it says tap in, so make sure that is unchecked. Okay. Now, kind of intrusive. So we need to scale it up a little bit. So scale it this way. And we want to put it around the chin of Suzanne. So scale it that way. And by the way, I'm just using this tool right here, the square. It's just like this tool, except you can scale with it on certain um, axes. If you didn't already know, now you know. So scale it up. That looks pretty good. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. And press tab to go into edit mode for this. Okay, so, press A, W subdivide, W subdivide, W subdivide, that's good. When it looks like this, it's good. Okay, then you want to press B, make sure you have vertices, you're in vertices select mode, and then click and drag and select the top two rows of vertices. See? Okay. Now, over here where it says vertex groups, new, 
and then click assign. Now notice this vertex group is just called group. That will be useful later. Okay. Press tab to go in object mode. Add the shrink wrap modifier again. Okay. So this time, right here, we're gonna pick group. And of course you have to put the object, so Suzanne. And as you see, with a little bit of offset and above service, it just shrink wraps that particular vertex group to Suzanne. And not the entire object. So let's subsurf it, smooth it out. And there it looks like I don't know, Suzanne has a some kind of cloth hanging from her, from her mouth. You can see right there pretty clearly. And that's about it. This is, like I said, really useful if this was, say, this area right here was, say, uh, hips of a human body mesh and you wanted to add a dress or something. You make this. Just select the vertices you want to be the hips and shrink wrap it and it works great so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial hope it's informative check out more of my videos at youtube.com slash yoshi suds and thank you for watching